Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Alaska Youth Orchestra's March concert featuring the Anchorage Youth Symphony in Concert. My name is Denise brown Chithluk, and I will be your host this evening. I am also the Executive Director of Alaska Youth Orchestras, and I'm thrilled to have you here. As you can see, we are live with a bunch of our AYS musicians and coaches, and we hope that you're enjoying watching this on YouTube or um, watching it at a later date after we've released it um, later than the recording. We have a wonderful concert for you this evening. Our musicians have been incredibly busy Busy. It's been an incredibly busy year. As you saw just then in that video, there's been a lot of work advocating for the arts. There has been a lot of work supporting public health and a lot of work getting ready to go back to in-person rehearsal, which is happening this coming week on Monday. We are all incredibly excited and have put an incredible amount of effort and time into getting ready to do this safely and making sure that our musicians are kept safe as well as being able to play music together. It's always a busy time of year as it feels like we start to race towards summer, so nothing about that is surprising. We're getting ready already for auditions. In fact, audition applications are already open. If you visit our website, alaskayouthorchestras.org, you can find out more information about that and even apply if you would like. Thank you again for being with us this evening. It is an absolute joy, and we're gonna be celebrating tonight some of the hard work that our musicians have been doing together in smaller groups, in a larger group, and in general on their own. We are proud to present the Anchorage Youth Symphony in Concert, featuring Richard Ticune, the AYS Concerto winner. Thank you, and we hope that you have a good evening with us and enjoy the show. Hi, my name is Lynn Wieda. I'm the music director of the Anchorage Youth Symphony. Welcome to our second online concert in this most unusual year. I'm so proud of the members of the orchestra um, for adapting to this unusual format. I'm so happy that you are here supporting these young musicians and our organization. And I certainly look forward to our future um, in which we won't have to be doing things online and we'll be doing uh, concerts where you can actually hear us live. The music that's been chosen uh, for this concert is with great variety and it's a, frankly a lot of fun both to listen to as well as to play. It ranges from uh, modern compositions all the way back to early compositions as early as Beethoven. I will provide some commentary uh, before each and every piece. Perhaps you've already heard that I am retiring from the Anchorage Youth Symphony. The one thing that made the decision hard was the fact that I wouldn't be able to work with these young musicians of the orchestra. You see, making music with them is something that is very special in my life. 
I have been music director for 31 years. And before that, I was a member of the orchestra, so therefore I'm an alumni. But it seems to me that there comes time for change. And rather than being forced to make a change, I thought it would be better for the Youth Symphony to get ahead of any sort of decision. I support and will continue to support the Youth Symphony in every way that I can. I'm hardly retiring. I'm still going to be teaching at the university and I will still be performing with uh, the various ensembles in the local music scene, including the Anchorage Symphony. And I'll be at future concerts of the Youth Symphony, being the orchestra's most enthusiastic cheerleader. I wanna thank the members of the orchestra, the board, all of the administrations, and particularly to the members of the orchestra, these young musicians, for providing me with great joy over the last 31 years. The next work is by Georges Bizet, written in 1872. This is uh, music from the play L'Arlesienne, or The Girl of Arles. This was a set of 26 incidental pieces that Bizet wrote um, to accompany a play that is now long forgotten, but the music was absolutely spectacular. He made, he excerpted four of these particular works into his first suite, um, and the fourth movement of this first suite is called Carillon which depicts wedding bells uh, brilliantly. And it is contrasted with a middle section uh, that is somewhat unsteady in rhythm, which depicts an elderly woman um, looking at her hometown after some 50 years. This is the Denali Ensemble, this Denali Sinfonietta uh, being led by Bill Clem.
The Greatland Symphonietta, led by Nina Bingham, will now perform uh, a work written in 1915 by the great uh, Hungarian composer Béla Bartók. Bartók was not only a great educator, uh, pianist, performer, uh, but he was also one of the earliest ethnomusicologists. He incorporated his work in studies of folk song, particularly Eastern European folk songs from his, his area. Um, he incorporated these, these tunes into his compositions starting right around the time of 1915 of this composition, the Romanian dances. This was originally written for violin and piano, and later he orchestrated it. Uh, and it is in this version that you hear our performance tonight. There are seven dances. They are played almost without break. Uh, they're contrasting dances. We have very fast dances with lots of notes, and we have slower dances um, with relatively simple accompaniments all the way throughout, uh, but very imaginatively set by Bartok.
Hello, I am Nina Bingham. I have the honor of introducing Richard Ticune, our AYS Concerto Competition winner. For the two short years Richard has been studying viola in my studio, he has shown a tremendous commitment to the viola and dedication to developing his skills. Richard will be performing the Viola Concerto in D Major by Carl Stamets. Due to the current public health limitations, Richard will be performing the concerto with a recorded orchestra. The recording is continuous and unedited to allow for an experience closest to performing with a live orchestra. Here's Richard Ticune performing the Stamets Viola Concerto.
The next work is played by the Denali Sinfonietta, led by Laura Koenig. Uh, they are going to be performing two works, the first of which is by Ludwig van Beethoven, and it is his Turkish March. Um, the Turkish music at this time in Vienna was very, very popular style of music. Uh, Mozart wrote one of his piano sonatas, his 11th piano sonata, The Last Movement, is, is based on a Turkish march. And a lot of composers wrote pieces that were in the style of, uh, of, of this Turkish march. And of course, uh, those of you that know a little bit about uh, Vienna know that uh, at one point the Turks actually occupied Vienna. So there is a connection between the two uh, the two city-states. So uh, this is the Turkish March by Ludwig van Beethoven. The second work that the Denali Sinfonietta is performing is by Aaron Copland, the eminent American composer. And this is one of his most iconic pieces. It's from the latter part, the last part, in fact, of Appalachian Spring. Copland composed this particular work at the end, towards the end of World War II in 1944. And in 1945, it was, um, it won the very first Pulitzer Prize for music. So this is um, Appalachian Spring, an excerpt from Appalachian Spring by Aaron Copland.
One of the most famous works in the symphonic literature is of course Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. This massive work that lasts well over an hour um, has become an iconic um, composition that has influenced artists and thinkers and poets and, and musicians ever since it was premiered in 1824. It is both traditional in the sense that it utilizes much of the same language, of the harmonic language and the musical language of, uh, of those that came before him. And it is radical in how it expanded what a, the idea of a symphony can and should be. Not the least of which was the inclusion of voices in the last movement. I have taken um, from the very beginning of the last movement, the first entrance of the most famous melody and one of the most famous melodies in symphonic literature, the theme from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, um, and his set of four variations on that that he, uh, he, uh, he composed as part of the symphony. And I have combined that with the very ending of the symphony, the very exciting ending to the symphony. We're having the whole orchestra play this joyous work and I hope you enjoy it.
Welcome back, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for our concert this evening. I'm going to invite all of our Anchorage Youth Symphony musicians who are with us on our Zoom to unmute and give themselves a huge round of applause. Congratulations on a job well done. Thank you, everyone. You can all re-mute yourselves now. This is a fun game that we have, right? Muting back and forth. Thank you so much. So this evening, um, as we're finishing our concert, we would like to just let you know about a couple of things coming up um, in the near future. We have a concert coming up on May 8th. And at that concert, we're going to be celebrating our Anchorage Youth Symphony musicians, and we're also going to be celebrating um, our incredible maestro, Lynn Wieda, and his retirement. We're working on a location still, but we plan to be actually on a stage together performing, and we, may, we will promise we make sure we have a way for you all to watch the concert either during or after. We will definitely be recording it, but we're so excited about being live on stage together. So I wanna let you know to save the date, May 8, and keep your eye out on our social media feeds to join us for that event. And without any further ado thank you all for being with us tonight we will all give you a good wave goodbye thank you and have a wonderful evening